right, there she goes. All right. You ready, sir? I believe so. All right, then. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming to you from the dark recesses of the proverbial Dawn Forge pouch. This is episode 244 of the Shattered Soulstone. Dead Grief forgot to name the show again. <laughs> Woo. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download at bit.ly slash soulstone books 2020 because we know what year it is. Yeah. Uh, you'll find over there, you'll find uh, over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, your MP3 player, or real man phone. Today is January the 5th. 2020, even though I didn't change the date, it is your main man, Dead Creed. Woohoo! Hey, that whole time, man, like that whole time we were talking. Oh shoot, I almost forgot. One second. Also, brought like, like usual, <laughs> like usual. Ah, yeah, I messed that up. Yeah, like usual, I brought like my second favorite person coming to you from a keyboard, a fuzzy microphone, and a Riker hat. It's Shazam. What's going on? Ooh, I blew that one, brother. That was a good one. Yeah. I think it was the books, bro. That threw me off. I don't know. Well, I'm blaming it on books. Not naming the show. I, yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't. Well, first show, of, uh, second show of the year. Woohoo! show of the year second show of the year second show of the year yeah i'm all jacked up so how was your week brother it's all right i can't complain i i played um i played fantasy star obviously on dreamcast and then this weekend like, I, I, I don't know if I was bored of it or what, but like I was looking like everywhere for games. I'm like, let's see what's on the Switch. Ah, it's not games I really want to play on the Switch. Let's see what's on Steam on sale. Ah, it's not really anything on Steam I want to buy to pay for, you know, to play. Like, I don't want to go to the store and buy like a game I'm going to play for like two minutes and then like not play it ever again. So I'm back to Fantasy Star for a little while, and then today, at like 12 or 1, I was like, I turned that off, and I'm like, I'll play Diablo for a little while. It's like, I want to, I wanted to play, I don't know, I wanted to play, like, I, I want to play like a good RPG and I signed up for the Fantasy Star Online 2 um, closed beta that's coming out. But it's going to make me... Uh, this is this is what I hate. Like, it's, it's a closed beta on an Xbox One. Xbox One only. That does not include Windows 10. Windows 10 is coming out at a later date. So that means for me to be able to play this game... At the closed beta. Go buy an Xbox One. No. No, I already did that twice. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing, because I know you already bought two of them, right? For me, to, for me to play it at the closed beta or, you know, at launch or anything like that, I'm going to have to drive to my parents' house, pick my Xbox up, drive back down here, and then, you know, I have my Xbox back. <laughs> Cause I wasn't ever playing. I was ever planning on playing that Xbox ever again. I'm like, that Xbox hasn't been turned on in like years. I'll just take it up to my parents' house. You know, my nephew can use it because my nephew has my original Xbox One. So I figured, screw it, he'll get the better Xbox One. But he didn't. He never played. He hasn't touched it since. Hmm. He still plays the old one. Um, 
Yeah, so there's that. I played Diablo today. Sign up for the PlayStation Fantasy Star Online Open Beta. And um, that's that's essentially it. I, I, I don't know. It's like a really bad time for games because like nothing's coming out that's any good. Wolfson's coming out at the end of the month. Um, Warcraft's coming out at the end of the month. But, like, right now, there's nothing coming out, so. What? Yeah, Wolfson will be out at the end of the month, and I'll probably be playing that for a little bit. So they had a big update the other day. I haven't played it or anything. So I figured we're so close to launch right now. Why, why play beta when I can just wait a couple weeks and play live? Um... But other than that, that's basically about it, because... What does the game cost? What? Wilson. I thought it was like 30 bucks when I bought it. Yeah, but if you... I know you bought... Did you buy the beta, or did you buy, like, the... I bought it off of Steam, like, this November, December. <coughs> so you pre-purchased it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I played the I played the beta last month. I played like I bought like three or four hours in the beta. It's all right. It's a weird. I'll cut in for a second, but it, it's a weird thing because they had a really flushed out like game, and then they they like pulled all that and just gave us parts of the game for like a long time. And then they kept saying, yeah, hey, yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. I lost interest in it. I didn't play it. I hadn't touched it. And I don't know how long it's been, maybe a year. I don't even know how long it's been since I messed with it. Um, now, they, now they give you act one. That's see, that's what we had before the whole act one. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should go back and fire it up and just see like, just wait till the end of the month and play it live. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really know if I want to play it live. Like, I don't know if I want to get it. You know what I mean? It's well, like you you already paid for it, so. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may. I don't know. I'll, I might check it out. Did they did they put the uh, the Gates of Fate back in there? I believe so. Well, if there's like so many, there's like a whole bunch of fourteen new um, master classes or something like that. Oh shoot! I'm way behind, bro. I gotta go check it out. I'm way behind on that. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. I just was like, I'm done. I, that's about all I have. <laughs> sorry, bro. I, I just, it, it's just that's a weird one for me because I started playing that like. Good lord, it had to be a year ago, and then it was like all this. They pulled the gates of fate off of it. They pulled the all the other stuff, and then they took there was like dungeons and all kinds of shit. They took all that back away from it. It was really weird. Um, I don't know. It's definitely an interesting game because yeah, I don't know. It's interesting anyway. It looks uh, a lot like Diablo, I can tell you that. Or at least it did. I don't know if it still does. It still does. Who? my week was long, bro. I had a three-day weekend. So that's a thing. You never get that. That's craziness. That's like, you know, right at the beginning of the year, that's how I'm starting my year off. With, I'm going to take three days off. First, I took the, the first off. You know, we were off the first. Now I had a first a three day weekend. This is crazy. I think it's the fifth, and I've only worked like two days. Like what the hell? I should have already worked five days this year. Four, I mean, not five, but craziness. I've been off more than I've worked this year. <laughs> I've literally been off four of the five days. What the hell? <laughs> it was weird. It was just been a weird because like I worked two days and then I was off. 
And then I worked one day, and then I was off for three days. Like, what the hell? What whole thing is jacked up, man? I um, I bought some new fish for my aquarium, and I bought a frog. One of those little African uh, bottom frogs. It's straight black. And no, that's not why I call him an Africa frog. That's what they call him at the store. That's not prejudice. <laughs> that's just what they call him. <laughs> but I put him in my tank, and I ain't seen him since. I have no idea where he's at. I looked everywhere. I looked for 30 minutes earlier trying to figure out where the hell he was at in my tank. I don't know if he made it or not. <laughs> I guess it's too, to be determined whether he made it or not. <laughs> figure I'd call him Kermit if I ever see him again. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Other than that, man, freaking vehicle broke down on me, and I couldn't be fixed, so I bought another vehicle. So, yeah, that's a thing. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> and uh played some Diablo. Uh... Despite being off for three days, uh, you'd think I'd have played the shit out of Diablo, but I really didn't. I played here and there. I played a little today, but uh, I really um, I got on, and then right when I got on, my wife came home and was like, hey, let's get the Christmas tree down and blah, blah, blah. So then I literally like fired it up. I started a regular rift. I was just running regulars to get keys. I ran like half a regular rift and then went back to town and shut the game down. That's all I did today. Um, I was like, you know, a weird move. We got the, we, we did a bunch of house cleaning and a bunch of, you know, pulled down all the decorations, all that stuff today. You know, get rid of all the Christmas junk. It's, it's the new year. So taking care of that. And I was like in a weird mood, so. I fired up the old Donna Man and uh, I was messing with Donna Man, which uh, which is a fun game if you're like, I don't know if you like those city builder type games. It is a fun game, but it's kind of like, it's a little bit of a weird twist. Um, the last time I played, I didn't set up any of the automatic stuff. Like you can... You could say, like, hey, I want three people to fish this area. Last time, what I was doing, I was, like, grabbing each individual person and telling them what to do. Like, you know, go pick up stones, and then, and then like, you go kill that animal, and you go do this, you go do that. And then you end up just all over the map, like, just, you know, especially when you get a bunch of people, when you're, you know, when your population gets pretty high, like 30, 40 people, it's, it, you're going crazy with all that stuff. So this time I, I figured I would try out the, uh, the, the, pri the automatic, they call them work orders. So you set these work orders up. It's very interesting because you can set up work order priorities. Like I want some people to fish unless it's springtime and uh, you can pick berries because you can fish all year round. Uh, now you can only pick berries in the spring or whatever. Uh, and other stuff like um, like during the winter I, I do a lot of hunting because you know there's a lot of other stuff you can't do during the winter. But anyway I, I just thought I would play it that way this time and now nah, it's going pretty good. Um I know when I uh, I had a lot harder time with the game when I was doing the whole micromanagement thing because you end up like dropping a bunch of tasks because when when you get thirty people and you're micromanaging thirty people there's going to be stuff that you don't get done. It seems like I got a bunch more materials this time around. Like I also set my parameters like I only want you to collect thirty ore. Uh, and once there's 30 ore there, don't work there no more until I use up like down to like 20 and then you can go back. So it, it I, I think that it, your people are bouncing around a lot more and it's, um, I don't know. I, I think it's a lot easier to, to play it that way other than the micromanagement thing. 
Although last time I was having a lot of fun with the whole micromanagement thing. I haven't got very far. Um, I've only gotten to where I can use bone tools now instead of like, you know, sticks. <coughs> so I'm out of the sticks and I'm, in, I'm into like bones and I just got a slingshot, the little, but whatever. I don't think they call it slingshot, whatever they rock thrower thing where I can uh, hunt a little easier. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a fun game. Um, I don't have nothing against Diablo. I just... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't have anything against Diablo. I just... Um... I mean, in the game, I'm like 11... I'm over 1,100 now, which I know nowhere near where you're at, but that's We're fine. getting close. <laughs> Am I getting close? <laughs> you haven't played in like, what, two weeks? Well, yeah, you played a little bit. It's been longer than that. It's been wow. like a month. Whatever. Two weeks, three weeks, a month, whatever. What are you, 14, 15, 16? I'm a, almost 13. Oh, I'm closer than I thought. Yeah. Oh, I could have caught you. <laughs> could have, should have, would have, huh? I guess, right? <laughs> nah, I... I'm fine. Like, 1100 is okay. I'm still working on it. Um, I haven't played my Crusader in a while. Although, I've gotten a lot of really good gear for him lately. So, I've just been putting it over there on his in his, in his bag, you know. And, um... I've gotten all but two pieces augmented now on my Barbarian. And my Barbarian's pretty geared. And I leveled my main gems to 111 now. Which is, um, you know, which is fair. That's a, that's a fair amount. I can go higher. I just haven't yet. Uh, I think I did a 110 so far in like eight minutes or something, which is lots of room for, for improvement. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time with it. That's for sure. Uh, I know, like, the three 110s I've done, I... I didn't, I didn't not die. So I haven't gotten five rolls on a 110 yet, but uh, I started pushing my augments up to like 105 now. Like the last three augments I got was 105. So I have two more. I'm probably going to try to push those to 105 or maybe a little higher. And I think one of them I got 106 because I accidentally double clicked the last thing and I ended up getting a 60, 60%, you know. So yeah, I mean that's 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 been my week and that's kind of where I'm at. I know my barbarian is really geared. Um, I do want to get back into the crusader a little bit. Um, it's a fun build, like you know you put those fissures down and then you you do the shotgun thing. It's a fun build. Sure. What you um you still running your demon hunter? I played Barbarian today, mostly. Mostly Barbarian? Yeah. Oh, is your Barbarian pretty geared? Yeah, I'm wearing two primals, I think. Just the gloves and the Mordex brace. Oh, Mr. <laughs> yeah, just the, just the brace brace. <laughs> I've gotten, like, nine primals so far. I know, I know nine's not that many, but... <laughs> did you, hey, did you see that on the Discord where um, somebody got two primals in one drop? Like, it was two red beams. Yeah, that was, um... Was that Rona? Yeah. I don't think he could use either drop, but dang, i never seen two red beams on the same map. Like, it was, like, right together. I was like, dang. Dang. <laughs> I think that was, like, on the first, because I was off, and I was playing, and I got a couple primals, and I was like, first primal of the year, poot! <laughs> I, nobody was playing. It was like three in the morning or some shit or four or five in the morning, whatever. It was early. No one, everybody was asleep, bro. I was like, yeah, first primal of the year, baby. Dead green right here. Yeah. On the Primal Rain channel. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I, hey, I guess I could say, hey, I got the first primal of the year. Yeah. Hey, uh, or at least I got the first posted primal of the year, I Somebody could have got one after midnight, I guess. First one I know of, anyway. 
But yeah, that's just that's my week in gaming, and um, we didn't have any emails. Um, I don't think we're gonna. <coughs> I don't think there was any blue notes. Um, I guess we could talk about the the darkening and Tristram event is going on right now, guys. So, um, I'm not. I don't. I've gotten all the achievements that I need from it, and like. Did you? Uh, Did you get the rare monster one too. Nah, I mean, well, I didn't. I didn't have, I don't have all the. I mean, I got the ones I wanted. You know what I mean? I don't. I think you got all of them, right? No, nah, not the rare monster one. I'm missing a I, few. I, well, okay, I'm missing a, an achievement here or there, but I got like the gem, you know, the red gemstone thing, and I got the. Uh, I got the pet and you know the stuff that you that I wanted out of it. So I don't really I thought about getting in there and just knocking it out one time, but it's kinda like meh. It was um it was a cool strategy for that one season that started in January. Yeah. You know, like it, it kind of like boosted us forward a little bit, but eh, we're already like in the middle of the season, so it was kinda like eh eh. It is what it is. Um, but, yeah, you know, if you, if you guys don't know, you can get a pet. Uh, there's some achievements. Um, I think there's two pets, right? Isn't it like the cow and then the butcher? Yeah, I believe. So, anyway, there's a couple pets if you don't got it. Um, there's achievements you can do. Uh, you will just you can just look that stuff up. And um, I think one of the things is, like, start a brand-new character and beat it without dying or... I don't know, beat it. I don't know what it is. Beat it without dying. I don't know. One of those things. But yeah, I mean that's if that's if that's what y'all are if that's what y'all are down for, make sure you get it in because I think it's only for this month, right? And then it goes away again. Yep. And it won't be back for another year, so this is your chance. Um, it's weird because um, this is the season that started right after BlizzCon last last year in 2019, which we were all excited about because it was like the season of whatever the hell it was, it's the seasonal theme. And I remember being excited because I was like, "Ooh, and we can do Darkening and Tristram event for level up." <laughs> I don't know. And uh, I mean, yeah, it was. So that's that, right? Uh, you have anything else for this section of the show? Um, not really. All right. Well, we can talk about Jed's little corner. Woohoo! It is 2020, and if and let me tell you, and in 2020, you can make yourself a, a, a new resolution. Uh, look, bro, you know, you can say you want to lose a lot of weight. You can be like, hey, I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna start making some money. I'm going to start sending greed some money. We'll talk about that here in a minute. But and maybe one of the resolutions you're you're like, you're like, man, look, um, I'm just, I have no knowledge when it comes to this game we're playing. So maybe your New Year's resolution might be that you want to figure out what's going on in the game of Diablo. And in order to do that, all you got to do is open up an Internet Explorer or whatever. Google Chrome, whatever you want to do, and just type in that bookagen.net. Go to Jen's Little Corner Podcast, and she'll tell you all about it. That's gonna be a great place to get started. She got a ton of episodes. You can listen. You can you can uh, what what do they, what do they call that man when you when you uh, when you watch a bunch of shows in a row? Binge watch. Yeah, you can binge. You can binge watch the Jen's Corner, and um, <clears throat> you know you can and then you can like go to parties and act like you're smart on Diablo. That's what I do. And, um, you know, yeah, and then, and then that's, like, a good start. And, like, maybe you still want to start reading some books. You can hit up that Audible link. And then, like, you know, maybe you're like, man, my New Year's resolution is I'm going to give Greed and Shazam some money. You can do that at Shatter Soul. Shatter the Soul Stone. Wait, yeah, hold on. Let's get the thing right. Whew, you can do that at <laughs> patreon.com slash soulstone. Jesus. That is where my mind is today, guys. I am like, bruh. You know what it is? I ain't been to work in three days, so I'm like, 
<laughs> I got cabin fever over here, bro. That's messed up. I don't like being off, bro. This is not good. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we you can do that. Shout out uh, Patreon. We got that Patreon. You can support us if that's what you want to do. If not, cool, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm down for whichever, however you want to do it. Um, woo, man, oh man. Uh, did you watch anything while you was playing your, uh, your Dreamcast? Um. I did watch. I, I I tried to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, it's bad, is it not? Bro? I, I I said I tried to watch it. I tried watching it three times. All three times, Shazam took a nap. <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Never Neverland, huh? <laughs> you, your complaint. See, I have a different complaint with the Bruce Lee scene than what you have. Okay. okay. Oh, I got to hear it is. It's completely like I, I, I didn't hear it coming out of your mouth. But, like, he's depicted in this movie as, for one, as being an asshole. Yeah. Like, he seemed to be like an asshole in this movie. For two, his martial arts, for two, his martial oh, arts, bitch. his martial arts in real life was that person hits me. I'm not going anywhere. That person is going to go to the ground. Like, I'm not going to, like, I'm going to use very little movement, but that dude's hitting the ground. In the movie, this dude was like, Kung, like, um, Liu Kang and fucking Mortal Kombat. And, like, whenever that, when, whenever the movie star dude, like, takes them and throws them up against that car, I'm like, that would have never happened. Yeah, never in a million years. Yeah, I didn't like it, brother. They just made him look stupid. They made him, you know, they, they, it's just not, it's just not who he was, man. Like, and he, was really not needed in the movie at all. They literally could have cut him completely out of the movie, and he could have just walked over there and been talking to one of the other actors, and then the dude's wife, who didn't like him anyway, they already said they already did this big setup about his wife didn't like him, and you're going to stay away from my wife and all this, blah, blah, blah. And then she could have just came out and been like, what the hell are you doing on my movie set? Get the hell out of here. But they had to do some dumb shit with Bruce Lee, blah, blah, blah. It was so yeah. unnecessary. But I guess, you know what, when you're, when you got a crappy movie and you don't know how to sell it, I guess you put Bruce Lee in it, make him look stupid, and everybody talks about it, and then everybody starts going to your movie. So I guess that's how you sell movies. But to me, it was a complete turnoff, man. I just, I was just like, Ugh. So, yeah, I watched, I watched, I tried watching that. I, I didn't get very much past the Bruce Lee scene, like all three times. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm, I'm done trying to watch this movie. Um, like you can only watch so many times. Like you can only like stay awake so many times watching people drive around, listening to like old radio <laughs> before you just... <sighs> You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's, like, 90% of that movie that I've, like, up to the Bruce Lee scene is somebody driving around in a car listening to old radio, and I go, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> but, um, I did see, I watched both, this is just strictly nostalgia. I watched both Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies again. <laughs> <laughs> did that yesterday. Today, um, I did see on Netflix. I'm pretty sure you watched the first season of You on Netflix. Season 
Yeah, they have season two, but I haven't I haven't. Gotta say, to season it. two is out yet. I haven't touched it yet. Like I want to sit down and actually actually pay attention and watch that movie, watch that TV show. You know, I I kind of need to do a once over on the first season because if I if memory serves me correctly, didn't we leave her in the box? Well, I think she died. Uh, no, I don't think so, because he's got her in the little box where he was keeping the books. I don't think she did, right? I can't remember him. Because he oh. kidnapped her, right? And put her in the box. Yeah. Where all the little books was. Mm-hmm. And everybody kept trying to, everybody in their damn dog kept trying to go downstairs. And he was like, oh, I'll go get the books. All, all this, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. This has got to take a turn somewhere. I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't know. I started watching season two, and he, he went to San Francisco. He's living there now. Oh, I don't I watched, like, the first ten minutes of the first episode, and then I'm like, I really need to sit down and watch this, like, when I'm not going to fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> There was a there was a Kevin Hart movie, um, like The Upside. I don't know if you remember that or not. It's like an older. I think it was last year, but um, I don't know. Uh, one of my really good friends is like a, this super fanatic about Kevin. Hart. I mean, he's funny enough, right? Like he's a he's not my favorite comedian. Um, he is in a lot of movies that I like. I mean, he doesn't do a bad job or anything. I'm not trying to badmouth him. I, I, he's not like my favorite stand-up. I mean, I've, I've seen his specials. They, some of it's funny. I'm not going to say everything's funny that he ever does. But um, well, anyway, my buddy's like this super fanatic. For, he's always talking about Kevin Hart. And when that movie came out, we were supposed to go like watch that I don't know why he invited me, but he wanted me to go. And we, I, every time, dude, it was always something like, every time he, we were going to go, it was like either he, he had to go do something or, or I didn't have time or it was always, I don't know, or I didn't want to go to a movie theater with another dude. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I was supposed to go watch it with him and then I never did. And then, I don't know, like two weeks ago or something, he was like, hey, you ever see that movie? It was funny. And I was like, uh, actually, I forgot about that movie. It was the the dude that sold meth on uh, Breaking Bad. I don't yeah. know that guy's name. The school teacher dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Eisenberg. Name. It was him. He was like in a wheelchair and couldn't move. And then it was like Kevin Hart got a job like taking care of him. And I, it was funny enough. There was some funny stuff in there. Can't say I like the way it ended, but it, it was a good. I watched that this week. It was a, actually, that's the movie I rented, and I told you I, I brought it back, and my car broke down on me. So maybe it wasn't that good at all. <laughs> Blame it on Kevin Hart. Hey, that's something good. I can tell my buddy, man. Kevin Hart broke my goddamn car. Quit telling me to watch Kevin Hart movies. <laughs> Never watch another Kevin Hart movie again, damn it. <laughs> Kevin, you owe me six grand, bro. Send it to me. You broke my car, bro. Other than that, um, I still have not finished The Witcher. I'm on the last episode, though. I got about 30 minutes on the last episode. Uh, have you? Did you finish watching it, or did you start watching it? Nope. Jesus, bro, that's it's good. Um, I don't want to mess it up because it's it's so good. I think I'm gonna watch it a second time. It's, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, that's you know that's just what it is. Other than that, man, it just it's crazy weeks and they they already have season three greenlit for The Witcher. Season three greenlit already. Well, don't it, they need to do a season two? That's how good season two was. And the first thing what? I'm thinking of 
Yeah, that's yeah. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself. Boy, I hope I hope Henry Cavill is signed for at least three seasons. Because <laughs> if yeah, not, I know. he's if, if no, not, he's gonna be like, I want some money. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna do it. Never mind. I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up, bro. I'm just saying, let's greenlit for three seasons already, man. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. There's some really, there's something really going on there. I need to watch it again. It's not something you can just Netflix and chill to. It ain't something you can run like regular riffs and watch. That's for sure. It's a, it's a, it's a, you got to get a bag of popcorn and like put some dedication into that. That's for sure. That's another one that you really just got to listen to. Um, other than that, um, I really got into a into a really good book, uh, The Richest Man in Babylon. One hundred percent. Damn, bro. Woo, that is fantastic. If y'all want to check that out, Audible. Dang, powerful, good stuff, man. I'm not all the way. I'm about. I'm about. I think I got two. Uh, I think I got an hour and a half left on it. I'm reading it with my ears, and uh, I would have been done, but you know, I didn't work the last two days, so three days. <laughs> so I would have been done with it already. But so anyway, that's my other media for the week. Uh, so first, first show. Well, this is the first show we're recording of the year, but it is the second show of the year. Because the last one was 2020. That was the first show of the year. But yeah, you know, um, my goals, uh, my goals this year is just, uh, you know, keep the show, keep the show going, and uh, murder some demons and uh, try to pay this new car I bought off. What you got going on for the year, brother? Any goals? Well, I'd like to go to BlizzCon. That's that's a good goal, bro. I can't I do it. I don't. I, I want to go, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go. Because I need a house, and I need to go to BlizzCon. And which which one's gonna win? <laughs> well, they, look, they build houses all the time, bro. BlizzCon I know, right? Only, only once a year. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so they sell houses every day. I know they build houses every day. They they some they some Mexicans right now working on a house right now, bro. <laughs> I ain't even joking. Especially here. I don't know about where you live, boy. It's there. They if, are. I if I don't get into a house, you. if I don't get into a house by December thirty first of this year, um, it will be. 21 right after that it's gonna be like this month next year will be i'm moving into a house because you just you, you just tired of the apartment life or what i ain't living here much longer man i hate this place yeah i know you're talking about it yeah man um one time the my garage door through a spring. It's been a while back, like a while back. And these uh, Hispanic dudes were like right down the street. And, uh, you know, they just hung a garage door like in that house. And I, you know, I was just right, right down the street. And I walked down there and I was all like, Hey, y'all know how to repair garage doors. And, you know, I had to like tell, ask like four people because, Nobody spoke English. Finally, I found the one dude that speaks English. She's like, yeah, we work on garage door. I was like, sweet, mine's broke. You know, what, what, do, y'all, what, what do you want to fix it? And he was like, what's wrong with it? I was like, I don't know. So he came, looked at it, and he said, you need a new spring, $145. I was like, sweet. Man, it was like the NAS. They were like the NASCAR of freaking garage doors, bro. 
It was, and you never seen nothing like that, bro. It was like, we, 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 they're like with jacks and shit and like spare tires and they put the one spring on, put the other spring on. Bro, it was impressive. It was worth $145, let me tell you. Those guys were awesome. And they were back on their job site before their dude knew they were gone. <laughs> but yeah, they were freaking awesome. And those guys have worked on a bunch of stuff for me. They helped me build my fence. They were, I'm telling you, man, they're like a NASCAR. They're like they're like NASCAR freaking of house building. It's it's insane. You never see nothing like that. Those guys really work. I seen them building the road down like down the road. They were like I don't know. They got on a construction crew and was like building the road. You never seen nobody pour concrete like that, bro. It's, it was insane. Very impressive. They really worked. It was great. Well, anyway. I uh, don't have anything else for the show. Do you, sir? Um, no, not really. Well, all right. Um, I'll just wave goodbye to our fans. I'll let you wave goodbye, and I'll let you close the show. Um, you've been listening to episode 244 of the Shattered Soul Stone your Diablo Community Podcast. Miss an episode? You can find the show's blog. Listen to the show archives at www.shatteredsoulstone.com. With your support, you can help the show grow. Become a Patreon today. Patreon.com slash soulstone. Come join us in-game or in-game community and clan. Both named Shattered Soulstone. We're open to anyone who would like to join you can also join us on Discord for the ultimate team and community-based experience. Find the Discord invitation link on our Twitter and Facebook page, as well as the Shattered Soul Sun website. The show is powered by you, the listener. Send your contributions, thoughts, feedback to show at ShatteredSoulStone.com. We love Twitter. Come join and tweet with us. You can find the show's Twitter at Shattered Stone. Dead Greed at Dead Greed 1812. And you can find me at Shazam081. We would like to extend a huge thank you to Medros of Dawn Forge Productions for hosting our Loot Deviant show. You can find more shows from the Dawn Forge, www.thedawnforge.com. Thank you for listening. Until next time, from all of us here at the Shattered Soulstone, over 243 episodes for your listening pleasure. Don't forge.